Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through my IB predictions for May 2023, so the exams on Monday and Tuesday, both for high level analysis and high level applications. So let's get started. Let's look first of all at high level analysis. So I've taken papers one and two, I've gone through all the past papers I can find and specimen papers as well. And then I found how often these topics appear. So I've grouped them here, as you can see, into certain, almost certain, often, and then the fairly big sometimes category. It's a bit more difficult to do than say IGCSE or even A-level, as there's lots of different variety of questions that can appear. But what comes out of the analysis here is that calculus is very, very important. If you do the HO analysis course, you probably already know that. Notice these two things, differentiation and integration, are certain to come up. However, there are a few surprises in here that should help you focus your revision over the next few days. The first thing is actually composite and inverse functions, so working with them, comes up a surprising amount 93% of the time. Now this can be the kind of SLAA content where you're trying to find the inverse of a function or you're trying to find the inverse from a graph, things like this, but it can appear in more difficult questions in section B as well. Uh, likewise, graph sketching here is a very important skill across the entire course, particularly, of course, on the paper one non-calculator. So you need to know how to sketch your reciprocal functions, your trig functions, your natural log functions, and so on, and all the transformations that come with that as well. Vectors, again, is a very important topic. This can come up quite often on section B with equations of planes and finding the line of intersection between planes, things like that. Trig equations is also very important. That's often a biggish question in the middle of section A, sometimes in section B as well. Proof, this includes proof by induction. Now, if you want to check out a really good video on induction, then click on the video above, and you can see that these fall into the often category. Stats, which is often a forgotten topic on high-level analysis, still appears quite often. So probability density functions, for example, appears 50% of the time. So go through this list very carefully. Again, start from the top work your way downwards, but notice even things like quadratics and sums products of roots, which is a big topic in itself, does come up 36% of the time. So you need to be very, very thorough with the revision that you do. And on to HOAI, which is, I think, even harder to actually predict. As you can see, tons of different questions come up. The thing to notice here, differentiation, of course, is important on both high-level courses. Vectors also makes it very high as well at 86%. Again, this is kind of different to HO analysis. The vectors questions you're going to encounter are looking for the shortest distance between two vector lines, the shortest distance between a vector equation and a point, that kind of problem-solving technique. And hypothesis testing is a huge topic on HL applications. To make sure you know your t-test, your z-test, the different kinds of t-tests that can come up, how do you recognize that in the question by reading it very, very carefully. Uh, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, even though it comes into the often category, can usually be a very big question on either paper two and paper three. So even though it comes up Often, when it does come up, it comes up in a very big way. Probability here, for example, that can appear with the normal distribution, which I think is a further down. Yep, right here. That's important too. Differential equations, again, in the often category, but again, can appear on the last question in paper three. So some of these questions, you're getting a big bang for your buck by going through these particular topics. Now, if you want to go over your last minute revision for high level applications in particular, then check out the playlist right in front of you, because I go through a whole paper one, a whole paper two, and a whole paper three in its entirety, so you can be ready for the kind of questions that do appear. 